Hello everyone, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the new version of iOS. It is the iOS 18.1. All right, so in today's video, I'm going to share with you guys, there is four things that quite new in this update. So the first one is has to be with the call record. This is the most requested features from Apple user. So we finally um, have this feature in this update. For example, right now I call, I'm, I'm trying to call to my son. Whenever I answer the call, there is a button right here and then I just click it and then, you know, the record, the, con the conversation will be recorded in the note app. You know, I stop it and there it is. The second feature that I want to share with you guys is the new you know, animation or visual things like that on Siri. Previously, this is what we got, you know, when you are doing long press, you know, this is how the Siri animate. But for now, the Siri animation is completely different. People may like it, you know, I don't mind, but personally, I prefer the, the old version because it took just a little, a little animation down here, you know, take a look at this one. It took the whole screen, you know. Hi, how are you doing? There you go, you know. As I said, some, some of you may like it and some may don't, but this is part of Apple intelligent AI kind of thing, you know. This, uh, but for this animation, it's just a graph only, the graphic only, it has nothing to do with AI, things like that, but there is a lot more in, in the AI thing that Apple, uh, you know, talking a lot about this, but just to, just to tell you guys, this is just the animation, you know. <laughs> um, you like it or hate it, I don't know, it's there. The third one had to do with photo, it's called cleanup. So this is the picture that I took. But I saw there is something, you know, at the background. I don't want this, so I want to remove this. So there is an option right now, when we click this three dot right here, three bar, you know. And there is a feature called cleanup. So go ahead and click on this. And then sometimes it will highlight automatically. As you guys can see right here, there is some little thing at the back of, of my hand. But you also can just circle on the object that you want to remove. Then it just completely gone. Sometimes it does perfectly. Sometimes it, you know, not perfect. But it's work. It's work, you know. As you guys can see here, it's work. We need to just make, uh, okay, now it's gone, it disappeared. So as you guys can see, this is very nice feature. And also with this feature alone, you not just uh, use this tool just to remove something you don't want in the picture. You also can clean up thing on your face as well. For example, let's do this, this picture I mean. So I want to remove some of this black head uh, on my face. So I'm gonna do the same thing, you know, clean up, and then I'm just gonna zoom, just try to take this black uh, head off. This is not really a black head, just, just a black dot on my face. Now it's completely gone, and same thing with this one here as well. Um, sorry, I mean this one. There you go, it's just gone, and it does perfectly in this uh in this scenario i mean same thing with this one as well look at this guy this is amazing i like this feature a lot you know you can do micro adjustment here if you want to you know things like that now it's working yep this is perfectly fine guys look at this you know compare this to before this is before and after you know, this is before, before and after, things like that. I like it. And also you can blur someone's face in the photo as well. For example, I just circle on this and it will apply the safety filter on his face, which is really, really nice. Also, you can remove, not, in, not finished yet, not finished yet. You can remove some un, unwanted tech on your shirt or something, logo, things like that. Let me just do this now. Look at this, you know, look at this shirt right here. There's a logo. I want to remove this. 
I'm just gonna circle around that and it just take off that logo slash tag completely gone and sometimes this is amazing you know <laughs> this is amazing so the fourth one have to do with the writing tool you know if you do writing a lot and you're not sure if you're doing if you do it perfectly you do it correctly there is an option in note in mail things like that you can use ai to help you uh, spelling thing correcting you know correctly for example i'm going to this other call here from mac rumors i'm gonna go copy all of this text copy it and there is a writing tool right here you know just click on writing tool you can do proofread rewrite friendly professional things like that let me just rewrite this one you know and then it will rewrite that article and then we just copy and paste you know put it somewhere where you wherever you want things like that which is really nice and also you can do summarizing. thing for example this article right here it's quite long so we want to get some kind of you know key feature that they want to share with us you can we can just press on the summary and they will give us this summary on this whole article look at this ios introduce blah 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 things like that so it is kind of nice there is a lot more in uh, about this version i mean this is just a piece of it just small part of this uh, ios 18 i'll share more to you guys later if you guys interested more about this update so if you ask me should you update to this version let's say if you have an iphone that supported ai if you don't know it i can tell you that the iphone that supported that support apple intelligent is only the pro version and the pro version is start from 15 15 pro 15 pro mac and 16 series of course you know if you have the latest and greatest iphone absolutely have to update too but if you have an older iphone then you won't see any changes at all oh well of course there is some small thing change if you have an older iphone let me share this iphone to you guys real quick the icon you know guys the customization we get this you know we can do things like that things like this and also we have a brand new control center if you like this you know behavior then you can go ahead and install it you know and also we got the call record of course that call record alone you don't have to get an iphone pro series you know regular iphone you still can get call, call record depend on your region by the way not every country will support call record so that's it guys what i want to share with you guys hope you guys like this video hope you found it useful and sorry for my explanation i don't think uh, i think you guys understand me but uh, to alert you guys that english is not my first language and i'm not even go to english school anyway i just speak with youtube and like this you know i speak like this and i can talk to you guys like this with no class at all no school at all <laughs> this is how i speak my english this is how i improve my english by speaking talking to the camera with you guys and watching another people and just talking to you guys like this all right so hope you guys like this video bye see you again